Hi, I'm Granger Metter. We're going to look at how to interpret some quiz results in Canvas. It's really easy to use the quiz analysis function in Canvas. You go into Canvas, open up your course, go to quizzes, find the quiz you want to look at. Mine was sample quiz for paper score. We're going to now go to quiz statistics. This is really helpful for data teams and just looking at your own data. You get some nice statistics up here, the average score. I had a 50 because remember I had one kid made a zero, one made a 50, one made a 100. Pretty simple. Tells me the high score and low score. It gives me a standard deviation, which would be more meaningful if I had a lot of results. You'd see this thing forming shapes and so on. You could even get an average time if they took it online, but of course on paper score, that's meaningless. These buttons up here create Excel reports if you want to do something fancy with that. You probably won't use that, frankly. A section filter could be used to look at individual sections inside a class if you have those. You know, hours, we call them, they call them sections. Now here's the really good stuff. Question number one, you can see exactly how many people picked B, how many picked D, which was the right answer. Get a nice little chart about how people did, even a discrimination index if you get enough data going. And these are live links, so you can click on this and see who it was that selected those answers. And it does that for each question on the quiz, so you can see easily how these items are working. And since we made this quiz inside paper score, there's no information here besides just option one, two, three, four, but it's like A, B, C, D. If we had made the quiz inside Canvas full blown, we'd see a lot more detail here, but we could still use paper score to do the scanning. There's lots of options. So hopefully this will be a really useful tool for data teams and for when you're trying to analyze data from any quiz.